morning, people of the internet. I thought that today I would just kind of walk you through my day and some of the behind the scenes stuff that I'm working on at Seacoast. But first, um, I have the hood up because it's cold, don't judge me. Um, I am a Georgia native. <laughs> but first, I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast. You saw my oatmeal and my green smoothie. And then I'm gonna get to work. So I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. But yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. It's just um, a behind the scenes look at some of the projects that I'm currently working on. See you in a bit. Hey everybody, um, it's about three, it's been about three hours since I filmed that last clip. Um, it seems like no time for you. But um, I figured I'd kind of give you a little shot um, regarding what I've been working on this morning. Um, right now, we're putting the finishing touches on our Z Coast editorial calendar for Q1 of 2018. And basically, for those of you who don't know, um, an editorial calendar is just kind of a a structured layout of all the content we hope to put out in Q1 of 2018 and um, so it kind of looks something like this you can't see it spectacularly and it's, I don't really want you to but we've got a spreadsheet here in Google Sheets that includes you know topic ideas the type of post we want it to appear as on the blog um, what the value add of that post is going to be, who we think is going to find it helpful and what we think they're going to gain from it. Um, then there's also a little notes section, which typically... Okay, so that was a little peek at our editorial calendar. And now um, I wanted to talk about briefly the, about the, the kind of campaign content marketing game promotion strategy thing I've been brainstorming this morning based off of the editorial calendar because I spent half of the morning reviewing that calendar and making sure we were good to go on a lot of the the items listed there and I also spent time breaking down different steps we can take to help step our content marketing strategy game up a little bit and so one of the first things I came up with in case you can't tell I keep looking away from the camera because I'm checking my notes here <laughs> um, one of the first things that I came up with that you know based on experience and and everything like that is you know having weekly accountability meetings now nick and i meet regularly every week anyway but it's typically to discuss client work we do you know we we put time into z coast but typically our scheduled meetings are all for clients so something that we can improve on every week is having a meeting that's solely focused on z coast and our own goals and what we want to achieve and by having a weekly accountability meeting, what we can do is review our goals and doing that, you know, getting in the habit of that forces you to really think up new ideas every week to help you hit your goals. Something else that I think Nick and I can both improve on going into 2018 is recognizing that everyone makes mistakes. We're both perfectionists and so sometimes we can get so absorbed in a single task that it just takes up way more time than it should and one way we can improve upon this is first of all get into our heads that everyone makes mistakes it's fine but we can learn from them by tracking them and one way we can do that is with something called a proactive i'm double checking here a proactive metrics spreadsheet spreadsheet Ugh, can't talk and what you do with that is you make a spreadsheet and you keep track of everything you're doing every week to promote whatever content it is you're focusing on that week and then you track that those metrics against a single metric such as like unique uh, website traffic every week and that helps you gain insight into what's working for you what's not working for you and what you should change up and probably do a little differently number three on my brainstorm list was teamwork makes the dream work. And I think that's something that Nick and I are already very good at. Uh, we seem to excel, not to toot our own horn or anything, but we seem to really excel at dividing up tasks and responsibilities. You know, we, we take a divide and conquer approach to almost anything that we're working on. And I think that's good because it usually always plays to our strengths. So everything always gets done on time and to the best of our ability. Um, so we can keep doing that, but what we can also do is uh, continue to, to be there for each other and support each other as we take on new tasks. And what I mean by that 
is that one thing we're going to focus on in 2018 are improved checklists because checklists make the world go round. Um, I'll argue you to the death on that. Um, but checklists make the world go round. And so what we need to do going into 2018 in order to more effectively promote our content is one, revamp the writing checklist because Nick is going to take on more writing responsibilities. He's a little nervous about it, but I think he's going to be good at it. And revamp the graphic design and promotion checklist because I'm going to work on improving my graphic design skills and typically how things have worked out in the past is I've written all the copy, Nick's made all you know the imagery that goes along with the copy. But if Nick's going to be taking on more writing responsibilities, it's not fair to ask him to do that and still carry the bulk of all the design responsibilities that, that go along with the promotion strategy that we're implementing here. So in order to keep things fair and keep, you know, divvying up our tasks accordingly, I'm going to try and take on some some design uh, workload for when Nick's, you know, writing things, and that way we keep we keep everything even evenly split. Um, so hopefully, like I said, that just gives you a little more insight into into some of the things that we do, some of our responsibilities, and what we hope to do going forward in 2018. See you guys after a while. So it's break time. There's still snow on the ground, which is ridiculous. It's been two days, but I'm going to head out to the gym for a little while for my break this afternoon. I was going to go this morning, but there's just something very unappealing about 25 degree weather. So now I'm gonna go. I thought I'd go to Publix real quick after I went to the gym. Biggest mistake of my life. I was quickly reminded as to why. Oh, hey, package. I was quickly reminded as to why. Hang on one second. I need more hands. As I was saying, I was quickly reminded as to why I never go to Publix during a weekday, like Monday afternoon, like it is right now. Terrible, terrible mistake. There were so many people in there, it was ridiculous. I just needed like five items and it took me half an hour. Half an hour, I have things to do. I have packages to open. I think this right here, is my new tripod. So I'm gonna open that up. Gonna open that up and hopefully have a new toy to show off. Let's see. Is it, yes, it is. Oh cool, it's like a fancy little Ziploc bag that it came in. It's really nice. Really nice. It's from. I got this off of Amazon. Uh, Cam Kicks is the brand, and it's just. Hang on. Yeah, see? It's just, it's a smaller, smaller, what? <laughs> it's a smaller 
tripod, just easier to hold. The one I've got now is great, um, and I'm still going to use it, but it's kind of bulky. Excuse me, you're in my shot. You're not even supposed to be up here. But yeah, so I got this. Oh, it even came with like an extra little GoPro attachment. That's awesome. And a lens cleaner. What? Cam kicks. This is totally not sponsored or promo or anything. I just, I was just looking for another, um, another way to hold the GoPro and saw this on Amazon and thought I'd give it a try because it looked cool. It's light, um, but it feels sturdy. So I really like that. Um, so I'm probably going to put that together this afternoon and test it out. But yeah, cool. I'm so excited. Okay, now that I've been sufficiently distracted by the package and my new... Oops, hang on, we went crooked. There we go. And my new um, tripod, I'm going to have some lunch. Turkey bacon cob. One of the things I picked up from Publix. It wasn't urgent, but I was hungry and I just went to the gym, so I need to eat something. And then I've got some more work to finish up this afternoon. And I don't know what's going to happen after that, so... See you with whatever comes next. <laughs> Do you know what's in the box? Hmm? Do you know what's in here? Oh boy! It... <gasps> Harper, it's your new crate because you ate your other one. All you care about is the paper. There you go. Look, check it out. What do you think? Yeah, it's blue. We like blue. It's just for you. Okay. Hey, everybody. Um, it's a little later on in the day now. I'm testing out that new uh, tripod that I got in the mail earlier that I showed you. I'm going to leave the cat to play with the box because that's exactly what she's going to do. Hold on. There we go. Told you it'd be back. <clears throat> so now that's taking care of all my work for the day is done I need to I know you can't really see me um, there we go I need to cook some dinner and then get back online because Nick and I have work to do for Zico's for a client and I think this is probably where I'm going to end vlogmas day five of course, in the kitchen. I don't know why I always end up here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, today wasn't a, wasn't festive at all, unless you count this, and I think you should, for Vlogmas Day 5. But it was a little more, it was a little more, it provided a little more insight into what we do at Z Coast. At least I hope it did. Um, that's just a very, very small piece of something that we're working on for ourselves, hopefully in the future. I can give you give you more as time goes on but I think it's sufficient enough for this vlog so thanks for watching if you're not subscribed please do so help us grow the channel so we can reach other people and um, we will see you in Harper she needs to be included say bye to the vlog yeah whatever okay so we'll see you in a couple days for vlogmas day six bye y'all What the heck are you doing in there? Get out!